Style cooking are coming to the taste of Tippecanoe this year. One local restaurant in Dayton is ready to share their history with Greater Lafayette. News 18's Marvin Bills shares what the Redbird Cafe plans to bring to this year's event. Fascinating. That's the word Trish Brown uses to describe her journey leading up to her success. This building was the first gas station in town in the early 1900s. Then it was the first fire station. Now it's the Red Bird Cafe. I grew up in this town, so I wanted to do something with something that was established in this town. I didn't want to tear something down and start from scratch. The restaurant has been open for a year, a milestone for Brown. Now she and her team are preparing for another milestone, their first year at the Taste of Tippecanoe. At the Taste of Tippecanoe, we're going to offer our beignets, which is something everyone gets one for free while they're waiting for their meal to arrive when they come to the restaurant. So we wanted everybody to experience that. And then we're also going to be taking our pulled pork nachos and pulled pork sandwiches. When customers dine at the cafe, they are served more than a meal. We're not all about the almighty dollar. We're about happiness, we're about comfort, and we're about our customers. Comfort and happiness in the form of homemade recipes passed down by moms, dads, and grandparents. What we do here is uh, you know, traditional homestyle cooking. Matthew Franks has been with Redbird Cafe since day one. With experience working at other restaurant chains, he says people won't experience food like this anywhere else. I've got a recipe on the menu that's, you know, I got from my grandmother that I remember growing up as a kid, her cooking. So that's what it is. It's just, it's all homemade stuff. What started out as a dream is now reality. It makes me feel humble. It truly, truly makes me feel humbled because I'm just a small town girl. In Dayton, Marvin Bills, News 18. Well, for more information on Redbird Cafe, visit this story on our website, WLFI.com. And you don't have to wait until.